Well, just 13 days to go until the election. And the state is ramping up efforts to make sure everything runs smoothly. NBC4 State House reporter Natalie Fami joins us live with a behind the scenes look at part of that training process. That's right. I sat in in a poll worker training class here in Franklin County where we went through this 240 page manual, which as you can see has everything from voter ID requirements to anything poll workers need to know about the voting kiosks themselves and so much more. Now, this class had a lot to take in and can feel overwhelming at times, but it's all to make sure that our elections run smoothly and securely. Let's flip on over, please, to page 30. I sat through a voter location manager in voter location deputy class. These are kind of the tip of the spear, the folks that are actually running the locations. The class for managers and deputies lasted three hours, and my instructor, Denise Smith, went through everything from standard information to new. It is a very long day. Please make sure you are well prepared. Poll workers need to take at least one class per election they work. Everything in the training manual is based on guidance from the Secretary of State's office that each county board should include in their training, like how to keep voting material secure. We will seal it with a snap seal, just like the snap seal that we used on our green voted bag and making sure no one underage or a non-citizen casts a ballot. They need to be trained on the most up-to-date rules and guidelines, uh, not only from the legislature, but directives from the Secretary of State's office. Across the state, there's an emphasis on everything being done with the supervision of both a Democrat and a Republican. This is going to be sealed and cannot be unsealed until Monday night when you arrive at your location and have your bipartisan buddy. Aside from mandatory classes, poll workers can also attend practice sessions. On the Monday before the election, polls are closed so everyone can prepare until the last second. I'm sure there'll be some more changes coming down, different things that we'll want to get to you last minute. Overall, the state has 40,000 poll workers signed up across counties, but it's not too late to volunteer. If you're interested in becoming a poll worker, you can learn about a process and book a class. The information will be on this story on NBC4i.com. Local for you in Columbus, I'm Natalie Fami, NBC4.